Hello trombone people. We are going to start with the um, fourth position note D and so we are going to talk a little bit about the uh, music that's on number one so that you can get comfortable with uh, reading the music as well as hearing it played. So in number one we have um, the staff which is a set of five lines and four spaces and the note that we are going to learn first is D and it sits on the middle line of the staff. And so what that means is that we've got a round circle note right now that's empty in the middle. And that note is going to have the line go right through it. Kind of like this. There we go. And um, that note in bass clef is called D. So uh, we have seven letters of the alphabet that are going to be assigned to different sounds. Once we run out of letters, we start over again at A. And the A and the A, or any two letters that are the same, in different ranges are going to sound related and we'll get to that in a little while. So right now our uh, our note value, our circle that is not filled in, that is called a whole note and a whole note stands for four beats and right now we are in the time signature of 4-4 four, four, which means that a quarter note gets a beat, we'll get to quarter notes um, on page nine. So for right now all you need to know is that when I turn the metronome on you're going to hear clicks, sounds like this. And the metronome allows us to keep steady time. And that's really important as musicians is that we move together and that we have that steady pulse uh, kind of built in so that we can um, play together as a group. All right, so if you need a metronome, the spelling here is M-E-T-R-O-N-O-M-E. -E, and that can be found on uh, most app stores. You can buy a standalone metronome like I've got or you can um, type metronome into the first or to the search bar of Google and it's the first thing that comes up. It doesn't even take you to a website. They've got one built into their search engine. So um, you can set the tempo forever, however fast or slow you need the song to go. And um, if you're a speed demon and you want to try to outpace me on these videos, I encourage you to go for it. Uh, just remember that when you, want, when you uh, try to play faster, make sure you're always playing it accurate before you play it the next speed faster. Okay, so we are gonna play number one. Uh, we're gonna talk about the slide position. So here is slide position number one. We are gonna go to number four, which is where the end of the hand slide, this part that slides back and forth, is gonna be even with the rim of the bell. Okay, and in this um, position, we can actually get a couple different notes depending if we have tight or loose lips. If I have super loose lips, That's a low G. If I firm my lips up a little bit more, that's the D we're looking for. If I firm them up more, I'm going to get a higher G. And most of you will only be able to get one or two or even those three notes right now. Um, make sure that you're listening to my pitch on the recording and making sure you're matching in. Okay, so until page nine, I'm going to play everything at two speeds. Uh, 80 beats per minute and 100 beats per minute. If you want to go faster than that, um, you can dial up your metronome and go for it. All right, here we go. 80 beats per minute. Number one. Oh, before we start, also in number one, we have a uh, rectangular symbol in the second measure that is hanging from the line. Um, that means four counts of rest. So we're going to do four counts of note, four counts of rest. Before you play a note, you want to take a big deep breath and try to make very little sound, pulling air in, like you're saying the word how. And then when you use the air, you're gonna use your tongue behind your teeth and go So it's how to breathe. It should sound like this, here we go. One, two, ready, play. for this faster speed. One, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 
If you need to change your note a little bit to adjust to mine, uh, the higher or the uh, closer in towards your face, the higher the note's going to sound, and the further away from your face, the lower the note's going to sound. So those small adjustments can be made while you're playing and while you're listening to adjust to my notes.